Hey guys, Joy San Anthony, aka JJ here. And for the past couple of days, I've been experimenting trying to get a watercolor effect. So for my image on the left, I used the wet brush and then the second textured sketch brush for the sweater. And I, I really liked it, but I was like, it's not really watercolory. So for the image on the right, I wanted to use the airbrush. And this is actually my first time ever using the airbrush. I also played around with the rim lighting. Before I get into the noise modifier, I just wanted to show which brushes I used. So again, I used the airbrush for her skin. And then for her sweater, I used kind of the spray brush. When I finished, I felt like something was missing. So I kind of added like a lush, lush, listen to me, lush background. And I used the leaf brush and I kind of blurred it out a little bit. And then I also added a point light. Okay, so now we're ready to go to the modifier. It kind of looks like a, a wrench. And then I'm gonna add the noise. So I'm gonna play it just like the, de the default which the position is 0.5, so I'm gonna play that. And that does not look good. It doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. Is that a better word? So I'm gonna turn down the position and see what that does. Oh, it's better. But I don't want the my inking, like the line work, to be animated i want that to stay put so i'm going to put the position back to 0.5 so if you click the drop down menu influence layer i'm going to select their skin color because that's all one layer and i like that a little bit better now i wanted to go in and play with the different settings of the noise modifier according to the blender manual the position changes the strength of the noise effect over the point location. The strength changes the strength of the noise effect over the point strength, which is the opacity. The thickness changes the strength of the noise effect over the point thickness. And that kind of gave a watercolor effect that I like. And the UV changes the strength of the noise effect over the point UV rotation. And I didn't really see much of a change with the UV. And finally, the noise scale controls the noise frequency. And if you want to adjust how fast or slow it goes, you click on step. So right now I have it on four. So the way I view it is like every four frames, that's where it creates the, the jittered effect. So now I'm going to go to my first study. One mistake I did make with my first study that I didn't make with the second is the first study I made her skin and her head wrap and like the leaves above her one layer and then I made the uh, what's it, scarf, her sweater another layer. So that's one mistake that I made. So when I did the, the noise effect, it kind of looked a little, it didn't look as good as the second study. Thank you. 
And right here I wanted to play with the, the step frame rate. So I'm going to see what happens if I made it less frequent. Making it more frequent by changing the number to 2. As you can see, it's a way more subtle effect with the first animation than the second. But I hope you learned something new about the noise modifier. See you next time.